Do you enjoy uh, competitive bodybuilding as, as an observer uh, or oh, you follow I, the sport? I, I love it. <laughs> I, I, uh, I 100% love it. Uh, you know, of course, the Strongman is this weekend. I'll be there. Uh, everybody else needs to be there. And classic, you know, uh, Mr. Olympia. Uh, to see those guys and their dedication and motivation. And people who don't understand it, uh, they need to know. They, they need, as a matter of fact, they couldn't even understand it. Even myself, to put it in perspective, I could not understand to be that way 365 days out of the year, whatever, six months or three months or four months, for them to condition themselves and to come out for that, just that, that 15 minutes of, of, of sacrifice on that stage, you know, and then have to repeat and do it all over again. To take their bodies to those types of levels is, yeah, un unthinkable. What's more important to you personally, strength or the look? When it comes to when it comes to fitness, do you? Do you uh, well, I have both. <laughs> so, <laughs> but if you, had to pick, if you had to pick just one, if you had to pick the strength or the way you look aesthetically, what would you? What, what direction would you lean into? Um, I would. You know what? I'm be honest. I'll be vain with it and say, look. I mean, if you look the part, you, people are going to look at you and they're going to come to you and they say it. If you got 24 inch biceps, thing like I want those. <laughs> look at you. You know what I'm saying, Vlad? They look at you. I mean, you can even if you if you could pick up a house. You can't display that all the time. <laughs> you got to wait for the camera to be on to pick up that owl. So social media, um, some people say it's hurting fitness and bodybuilding. Some people say it's helping. They're hurting because you know you have so many different gurus and people that might be giving the wrong advice to the kids. On the flip side, you know you have people that are able to create platforms and, and help other people and, and build businesses, whatever. What do, what do you think? I agree with 100%. It is a, um, a double edge. I mean, it can help, but that's on an individual person, you know, and uh, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a person like me. I'm, I'm a very, I'm a gentle giant, as people say, but I'm very aggressive, and I will intersect in a, in a heartbeat. You know, someone came and said, 2,000 push-ups doesn't save people's lives, and then that's when I jump in and say, this is the influencer saying that, and I'm saying, hey, if you uh, walk with cancer, does it say, stop cancer? If you pour water on someone's head, does it stop ALS? Don't try to use a platform just for you to get noticed, right? Do it for the right reason. You know, don't say it's not a Santa Claus. If kids want to believe in a Santa Claus, let them believe in Santa Claus. That's too fairy, so forth. Let them figure find it out later on. Don't just. Do you engage back and forth with the people that might be saying something negative to you on social media? Uh, so that's a touchy subject. I do when it comes down to it, because I have to. Normally I don't, but the thing about it is, I have, uh, my platform is probably about between the ages of 16 and 28, right? So it's a young, demographics and I think about the kids I talk about 10,000 kids a year right so they come in they look at me and they think if people are bullying me right and I'm not they're like why is chef not saying anything I'm very tactful with it it's not an argument it's a discussion and I'll tell that but now I'm in the block game I block them completely don't come on my platform talking about it bringing any type of negative energy or whatever we don't have time for it it's 2020 mm -hmm. Uh, what are your rules to social media? Do you have any kind of rules to social like what, something you won't do, won't say, won't post? Or, I mean, do you have any rules when it comes to it? Um, I have plenty of rules. People ask me why I'm not advertising on social media. People come to me <laughs> all the time about uh, sponsorships or about this. I, I'm, not, I'm not that guy. You know, I'm not a rich guy, I'm not that guy, but I'm not that guy because I have that integrity that's inside of me. Because, like you said, I am a, a, a public figure. You know, and uh, you have to look at it like such and not highlight things that is not representative, representative of you. People call you a sellout for anything. It doesn't matter whether it be true or real or you have to explain it. But at the same time, you can't explain it to 100,000 people. Do you think bodybuilding, competitive bodybuilding, do you think it's progressing forward, meaning that the physiques are getting better? Or do you think the golden era was in the 90s, let's say, right? And that was... Or, or whatever, whatever they say is the best era, but what do you, in those your opinion? Those golden eras, I, I, yeah, I got to give it up. Those are those classic, those wonderful physiques. Uh, and, and sometimes it seems like it's getting a little twisted because everybody wants to be as big as they possibly can be uh, and just kind of taken away from it. Uh, just that whole symmetry and just, and, and, and it's feeding off the, the, the rest of the generation, the younger guys who's looking, everybody else wants to be as big as possible now. <clears throat> Not knowing the medical. What about you? You don't want? 
I'm sorry. You, you, but you also like to be big, all right? I mean, I'm yeah. big. Well, I'm, I'm. You know what? I'm, I'm small right now. I'm 30 pounds lighter. So, so there you go. <laughs> but guess what? In another couple months, I'm gonna get back bigger. Be huge. I, I'll be huge. Yeah, I'll be huge. I'll be 300 pounds. And you know what? And, that, and that'll be okay for me, just because that's my demeanor. But I know how to control my body. The difference between a lot of people is they don't understand is that. Uh, you won't see me taking a million supplements trying to get that size. You have to know your body first. Have your body talk to you and understand your body before you just jump into things. Because your joints, your hearts, your organs, you need to know knowledge is power. Right, right, right. How do you feel about, I mean, there's a lot of divisions in bodybuilding right now. There's men's physique, people make fun of it all the time, right? There's, there's classic, there's so many different divisions, almost like for every body type, there's a yes. division. Um, do you think that's good, bad? How do you feel about it? I think they're giving something to everyone. Some people can't achieve that, that Mr. Olympia, that um, see, achieve certain body types or body goals. I mean, and I, I think it's being very courteous for them to give different types to different people who wants to do it. I mean, that's kind of like an inspiration because you could be looking at kids or even the females or ladies, girls, whoever, that look at that and they get inspired by it and say, oh, you know what, I can do that. Let me try for that. Instead of just shunning that whole, that whole platform. Do you, have you ever thought about competing on an amateur level? Just I have actually. You've People have said it you've to thought me. about it or you competed? I, no, I, I've you've thought, thought about, about it. it. I've thought oh. about it. I, uh, I graced in Anaheim um, and, and got inducted to the Dumbbell Club for bodybuilding, you know, because of my advocacy for the industry, which I'm, I'm huge on health and fitness. And I do know, and if you ever worked out with me, you understand why I'm a beast in the gym. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> but um, um, I, I actually thought about it this year. I said, if I start off, and that's one of the reasons why I came to LA, uh, so I can stop moving around. And like I said, I travel so much, 25 days out of a month, and now I wanna work out and work on me, not the push-ups, Push-ups are given, you know, I'll caveat that with a lot more things.